A new, Monash-led theoretical study advances our understanding of its role in thermodynamics in the quantum impurity problem. Quantum impurity theory studies the behavior of deliberately introduced atoms, i.e., impurities that behave as particularly clean quasiparticles within a background atomic gas, allowing a controllable perfect testbed study of quantum correlations. The study extends quantum impurity theory, which is of significant interest to the quantum matter research community, into a new dimension, the thermal effect. We have discovered a general relationship between two distinct experimental protocols, namely ejection and injection radio frequency spectroscopy, where prior to our work no such relationship was known. Explains lead author Dr. Wei Jia Lu, Monash University School of Physics and Astronomy. Quantum impurity theory Quantum impurity theory studies the effects of introducing atoms of one element, i.e., impurities, into an ultracold atomic gas of another element. For example, a small number of potassium atoms can be introduced into a background quantum gas of lithium atoms. The introduced impurities in this case, the potassium atoms behave as a particularly clean quasiparticle within the atomic gas. Interactions between the introduced impurity atoms and the background atomic gas can be tuned via an external magnetic field, allowing investigation of quantum correlations. In recent years there has been an explosion of studies on the subject of quantum impurities immersed in different background mediums, thanks to their controllable realization in ultracold atomic gases. Modeling push and pull with radio frequency pulses, our study is based on radio frequency spectroscopy, modeling two different scenarios, ejection and injection, says Dr. Wei Jia Lu, who is a research fellow with Fleet, Fleet working in the group of A. Professor Mira Parrish and Dr. Jesper Levinson. The team modeled the effect of radio frequency pulses that would force impurity atoms from one spin state into another, unoccupied spin state. Under the ejection scenario, radio frequency pulses act on impurities in a spin state that strongly interact with the background medium, pushing those impurities into a non-interacting spin state. The inverse injection scenario pulls impurities from a non-interacting state into an interacting state. These two spectroscopies are commonly used separately, to study distinctive aspects of the quantum impurity problem. Asterisk instead, the new Monash study shows that the ejection and injection protocols probe the same information. We found that the two scenarios, ejection and injection, are related to each other by an exponential function of the free energy difference between the interacting and non-interacting impurity states, says Dr. Liu. Please support my channel to grow by pressing subscribe button and the bell icon. We will notify you technological news. Thank you.